Hello, everybody. My name is Ah. Hello, everybody. My name is Kiribro, and welcome to Would You Rather? This is my first time doing this one. Uh, I didn't have a video all set up for this Wednesday, but I did hit 300 subscribers over the weekend. Thank you, everybody, so much for that. But uh, I didn't really have anything in mind for a celebration of any kind for 300 subs. But I figured, you know, why not poke around inside my brain a little bit for some hypotheticals. Also, you may notice my webcam looks a little less like shit today. Same webcam, but I figured out a little do-it-yourself lighting trick. So, let's just hop into this thing and see what terrible things I would do if I had to do one or the other. And I didn't actually read this one um, that was up first, so let's start here. Why not? Only be able to laugh at violently racist jokes or only to be able to laugh at intricate Star Trek jokes. <sighs> There, there are some pretty, there are some pretty funny racy jokes. Don't even, don't even try to deny it. But I think I would have to go with the intricate Star Trek jokes just because these are trying, these are supposed to be on like the going down. All right, cool. Moving on. Marry at age 10 or never marry at all. Ooh, that's a tricky one. <sighs> Because at age 10, you don't even know what it is that you want. Like, your brain doesn't fully develop until you're... What is it, 22 or something? Through all of your teenage years, it's still going, and you're still learning what you want. And it's supposed to be the area when you're, like, getting good at talking to girls, or talking to girls at all, being bad at talking to girls, doing whatever. If you'd have to marry somebody then... Oh, wait, no, you know what? This doesn't say that you can't divorce. You could just marry at age 10 and you get out of it when you learn what you really want. This is an easy one. Done. 47% of people didn't pick up on that technicality. Oh, man. Be killed in a Saw movie or be killed in a Final Destination movie. Uh, no, you know what? I'm going to go with Final Destination. This isn't even that tricky. Saw is torture chambers. Final Destination is kind of tricky. Yeah, but mm, I think they tend to be over pretty quick. Except for that, I, okay, also, full disclosure, I haven't seen many Final Destination movies, but the one that I did see had a guy getting his, uh, insides sucked out of his behindular hole at the bottom of a pool. I don't want to go that way, but he probably still had an easier time of it than, uh, than Saw victims. Thank you, internet, for agreeing with me on this one. Fight three bulls at the same time or fight ten bulls one at a time? Ten bulls. You'd be getting really tired by the end of it, but if there's three of them, they might, you know, coordinate. They might start figuring out a, a pincer strategy and getting at you from two, two sides at once. Wow, there are a lot of really gung-ho people. I don't think you could do that. Uh, have two moms or have two dads? You know, I'm probably going to go with the dads, and this is just because I've had a lot of issues with my own mother. Um... But dad's always been cool. So, you know, that'll that's a very personal question. Don't read anything into that one. Most people disagreed with me, so I'm in the minority there. Be attractive and poor or ugly and rich. Hmm. <laughs> this is uh I I don't really know how to approach this one. Because if you're attractive and, like, I'm trying to figure out a way, some way you could use your attractiveness to get out of being poor. But, I mean, aside from, like, just being a model or whatever, I mean, unfortunately, you will just end up with more friends because it's the sad fact of life. People like attractive people. But being ugly and rich is... Rich, richness doesn't buy happiness. Yeah, you know what? I, I gotta say that if you don't have the right foundation for it, rich doesn't really help you. I'd rather be attractive and poor and maybe someday work my way up. The first person to walk on Mars via a one-way trip or never travel to space. This one's not that hard for me. I'm pretty comfy just where I am. I don't gotta go to Mars. I don't gotta see the red planet. I don't gotta be a colonist. I will hear about how many people went down on the first ship and uh, maybe send my grandkids there with their uh, their inheritance when I die. <laughs> what would you spread first? Would you rather peanut butter first or jelly first? Now, hmm, see this one, I might upset a lot of people here, but I always start with the peanut butter. It's because, well, I, I put on three things. I put on the butter on both sides, 
then your peanut butter, you smear it on, and then the jelly. Because I don't like having jelly in my peanut butter, but I can have a little bit of peanut butter in my jelly. It's fine. The internet agrees. Break your leg or break your arm. Hmm. I am immediately attracted towards break your leg, which means i not attracted, re repelled away from break your arm, because I use my arms for all of my things. Like, I draw, I game, I type, I do a lot of stuff. If I was to lose either of these, for any reason, I'd be crippled. But I'm also not really considering how much of a bitch it would be to get around with only one working leg. I live on the third floor of an apartment. We don't have an elevator. People who have working legs complain about my stairs. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go, just because of my situation, I'm gonna have to go for break your arm. Because I could, I could live with that for a, a while, a few weeks, a month, whatever it takes to heal. I can catch up on the backlog I have of TV and movies and stuff like that. I can't even, I can't give any justification for why people would want to go one way or the other. It's entirely based on your own reasonings. Lead a boring life from here forward or reborn with all your memories into a baby of the opposite sex. That's not even a question for me. Opposite sex, absolutely. Why would I want to live a Okay, first of all, they're they're both like they both lead towards one conclusion. It's not like one of them was more compelling. Leading a boring life is just bad. And with all my memories of being a guy, I feel like that would, uh, that's just like, that's some extra special insight that most people don't get. Maybe it would drive me insane. I don't know, but I would rather do that than just be dull for the rest of my life. Live until you're 80, but be morbidly obese or live until 50, but have supermodel looks. Neither of these are what I want to do because I want to live to 100. I don't want to live 80 and be like stuck in a, terribly, like, obese, unable to move around, unable to be active body. I'd rather have, like, a action-packed life that's shorter. Ooh, 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 this is a baddie. I'm, I want to skip it, but they're both bad, so it's just choosing between bads. KKK robes for life or tattoo swastikas in your cheeks. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to go with the robes because, because... I could turn them into an art project. And I would let people sign them. I'd let people draw all over them, and then soon I would become, uh, Curion the KKK of many colors, instead of just wearing the white robes. <laughs> Eat a spoonful of cinnamon or snort mustard. I'm gonna go with snort mustard, just because the cinnamon challenge can kill people. Like, that will, that will fuck you up if you get that in your throat and it dries it, uh, 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 uh. This, the, this is the internet at work here. This is people taking their damn cinnamon challenge and they don't know the risks. Be in the Justice League or be an Avenger. <laughs> Honestly, it's a toss up either way. I'm not a comics guy. I'm not a superhero comics guy. I like the superhero movies and based on that, Everybody knows DC kind of sucks, right? I mean, this isn't that hard of a decision. Have a flying car or one terabyte per second internet connection. That terabyte is really tempting, really tempting, but I don't need it. I get by pretty good on what I've got, to be honest. Like having a terabyte internet connection, that sounds great, but how often would you really be maxing it out? Not that often. The inconvenience of having a slow download does not beat out having a flying car. Thank you, 63% of people. Always be overdressed or always be underdressed? Huh. I think I'd rather, I'd rather aim on... In reality, I am underdressed for everything because I just don't care. But if I had to pick one, if it's like a compulsion that I have to do one or the other, I'd rather be overdressed for stuff. I feel spiffy and, you know, super powered when you come into places with a suit. I don't know what this was, just pumping my chest. Have your elbow joints facing backwards or your knees facing backwards? Dude, I'm gonna be a motherfucking flamingo. I don't even care. Elbows is like weird. You put your arm out and then it bends down towards the table. Then you're essentially doing this weird thing when you're trying to work a mouse and no, oh, no, that's not cool. That is not okay. Be stalked by a ghost for your entire life or a demon for three days then die? These, these, 
These seem like they're equal except for the die part. Nah, nah, I'd, I'd rather put up with a ghost for a while. Plus then that gives me a chance to call up paranormal experts and those are always colorful characters. <laughs> Stare at the sun for five seconds after being in a dark room for five hours or have one eye replaced with a glass eye for the rest of your life. <sighs> All right, now I, I have been that idiot. I have stared at the sun. Don't do it, by the way, that's a stupid thing. But I have, it just turns blue and gets dark for a while. I don't know what kind of damage it did to my eyes. But that was after being in the outdoors and like looking closer and closer to it and letting my eyes get adjusted to it. If you're just in the dark and then it's like you'll probably go blind in both eyes. You'll have two glass eyes. So I gotta go with the one glass eye. These people don't know how eyes work. People are wrong. You're dumb. You deserve to be blind. Be incredibly stupid, but have the best of luck or be an incredible genius and have the worst luck. Who's to say what's better? If life just seems to go perfectly for you and you don't understand why, or you know everything about the world and you just can't ever get anything done. I'm gonna leave this one up to you guys because that seems like a decent enough thing that other people, what am I saying decent enough? That seems like a fun thing. Fun thing, straight up fun. It's fun, everybody's having fun. Once again, thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you for 300 subscribers. Click that like button down below. And if you're not one of them, consider subscribing. You know, just if, if, if you wanna. Figured I'd, figured I'd just leave that invitation on the table there. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Show, the show where I still don't have a name and I don't even care and I just find it fun to point it out at this point. Uh, Pokemon's going, still waiting on Shantae, and I don't know what's going to be coming up next Wednesday. Always open for suggestions. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.